It has been three years since devolution as a system of governance was established in Kenya. An actual democratic devolution is about building and expanding local economic development base, creating more opportunities, equality and equity. All these achieved through the combined efforts between the county executive and legislative roles of the Senate and the county assemblies as they either pass legislations that enhance service delivery in the counties or approve budgets that in return fund devolution projects. This is a highlight of the milestones that mark efficiency, diversity, equity, accessibility and opportunity, the promise of devolution. Um. Health is real wealth. A healthy person is an asset to himself, to his family and to his nation. Good health is necessary to carry out daily tasks. County governments have embraced this fact and have impressively improved the sector. Dispensaries in various sub-counties across the country have grown by 1,925, which is a 21% increase. Fully functional health centers have been upscaled by 15%. As of 2015-2016 financial year, hospitals have also been increased, some being upgraded to level 5 and 6 hospitals. This has seen a 12% increment, thus easing access to health services for a healthier nation. What you see here is our oxygen plant, uh, one of the flagship projects in the post-devolutionary era. Uh, so far we are able to produce about 2,240 2, litres per week. It's actually served as a great deal because we used to acquire oxygen from Kitale. Devolution has also increased the human resource required to handle the massive number of health service seekers. For instance, nurses have been raised from 9,816 to 15,000, with medical doctors now standing at 3,786. Kule tulikuwa na mainzi, saa zote mainzi, hapa huwezi kuona inzi, hapa huwezi kuona mdudu komba mwiko, tunaishi maisha ya usafi na maisha ya raha. The county governments have also largely increased expenditure for procurement of drugs by 40%. Kenyans can now access specialized medical care as modern complex diagnostic machines for health problems like renal, cardiovascular and machines for critical care units have been acquired in various counties. Some were acquired through the Managed Equipment Service, a partnership between the national government and the county governments. If you come morning hours around Around Sane Satatu, Sane Satano. This place is usually overcrowded by patients. We came when you could just get to say, Mass, Peter Lina, thou, Kifata, what to Engine, or that you got the money in a fasia. No, cut your what is an any time you know to Kidia to do me. Toshkuru, Tulivoku was a man in Asasa, Alhamdulillah. This is a clear indicator of the confidence the public has had in the county health facilities. A contrasting picture before devolution was established three years ago when such facilities had been neglected beyond measure. All 47 county governments partnered with the national government to procure about 150,000 metric tons of fertilizer in the year 2014-2015 and intend to increase this to about 200,000 metric tons in 2015-2016. In addition, county governments have come up with their own fertilizer programs by distributing fertilizer through self-help groups. This is done after soil analysis and testing to ensure the right amount, type and quality of fertilizer is procured. County governments have ensured that Farmers buy fertilizer at factory prices by cutting out middlemen, therefore 
cost is not passed on to the farmers. Pre-devolution period, the fertilizer was unevenly distributed in the country, but now with devolution of the agriculture sector, every farmer across the country has access to the affordable fertilizer, with some types being sold at half of the previous prices. This practically translates to an increase in agricultural produce yields by up to 118% per acre after fertilizer use in the certain counties. Farmers are now able to deliver fresh vegetables to waiting markets even during dry seasons thanks to water harvesting methods like drip irrigation in various counties. This helps in achieving the goal of commercializing agriculture in the country and would also greatly improve food security as well as ensure a healthy nation. Sixty-six point seven percent of Kenyans voted for the 2010 constitution with a resolve to turn around their fortunes for the better. As outlined in the constitution, clean water is not a privilege, but a right, which the government must strive to provide. Access to clean and quality water source has improved from 55% in 2012 to 57% in 2015. The improved drinking water source has been through concerted efforts by the county governments, which include drilling of boreholes, rehabilitation of dams and shallow wells, as well as improved access to piped household water connection. We were fetching the same water that cows drank. People bathed and stepped on the water, but now we have clean water. There has also been improved drinking water sources in form of public taps, or standpipes, tube wells or boreholes, protected dug wells, protected springs and rainwater collection. The provision of clean quality water sources has reduced the long and dangerous distances that women and children would travel in search of this crucial life-holding commodity. <laughs> County governments have enhanced garbage collection and cleanup of their towns. This landmark task employs modern technology that allows for production of organic manure and leachate, which later is treated and used as clean water, making it the first of its kind in Africa. The county governments have licensed youth groups as garbage collectors, thereby creating job opportunities. A commitment from all the county governors to supply piped water to all households will go a long way to fulfilling the Kenyan dream. Every person has the right to education. County governments have taken this reality in earnest and are keenly focusing on the foundation of the sector with the seriousness it deserves. Pre-devolution period, children would learn under extremely poor conditions, open to weather elements and noise pollution. With no room to hang even the basic learning aid materials, County governments have moved children from under these unsecure trees and dusty grounds to permanent, clean, conducive classes. And who can better tell it all than the innocent children? <laughs> Before devolution, there were 1.7 million children enrolled 
in ECDE centers across the country. After devolution, the number of children is now 2.5 million and counting. There has been an approximate increase of 812,000 in the number of children who have enrolled to ECDE centers since devolution was established. This is a 47% increase in the number of ECDE children who now have access to conducive ECDE facilities with an incentive of a feeding program in these centers. Some provide porridge and some provide milk to the children as they learn. The increase in the number of children has been catered for by the increase of 25,101 teachers recruited. The 5,291 ECDE centers built and 235 ECD centers rehabilitated. Additionally, the counties are responsible for infrastructural development, tools and equipment installation in the village polytechnics and homecraft centers to promote social entrepreneurship, mentorship, patriotism and providing ways to earn a living. Mimi binafsi nimefaidika na hii mradi ya county kwa kutuletea polytechnic kwa sababu miaka mingi tulikuwa tunawaza ni kama mimi mwenyewe nilikuwa nawaza vile ninaweza kupata kitu ya kujifunza na nijitegemee maisha Before the establishment of devolution and subsequent placement of local road network under the county government's management due to marginalization this was the narrative this road has been a disaster since 1963 nobody ever thought one time there will be a road here in fact the leadership which was there before i'm sorry to say had insinuated that this stretch of road will only be tarmed when the cows are stuck in mud but it has since changed with the uptake of the road's maintenance and construction. County governments have either constructed or maintained at least 10,000 kilometers of roads across the country. This has in return eased travel and access to facilities, goods and services. Security lights zimewekwa kila kona. Na hiyo inasaidia hata maofisas ya serikali ambaye huwa law enforcers. County governments have given their ears to the citizens. The county leadership meet the citizens regularly to discuss issues affecting them. This is one of the objectives of devolution of giving powers of self-governance and their participation in the exercise of the powers and making decisions on issues affecting them. This is unlike before when citizens would often cry foul as decisions would be made and implemented without duly considering their opinion. Some have even provided modern avenues like information communication and technology ICT services to enhance the participation of the people in matters governance while keeping them informed in this digital era. Yes, as a youth, I'm very comfortable with the technology the county has provided for us since we access the Wi-Fi free in our county and we get all the requirements we need. County governments have partnered with the private sector to increase the revenue collected. This has been done through automation of revenue collection as well as use of online payment where any resident or business person can log in to pay land rates, licenses or other charges. This has seen the revenue collection rise by up to 60% in some counties County governments also give out affordable loans to the youth, women and people living with disabilities and train them on business entrepreneurship and startups of businesses and management. It is specifically for women to help the women learn how to save, the ideology of saving and then from that saving they borrow a loan three times their savings and they are encouraged to do business with their loans. These milestones have been achieved despite the teething challenges of delayed funding to county government functions. We cannot be blind to the constant political bickering 
among the pioneer devolution stakeholders. That said, devolution is taking root in Kenya and the results are visible from Lokichogyo to Vanga, from Bande to Ramu. Me, I would have wished it could be 50-50, 50% for devolution and 50% for the national government so that we shall get everything in place. All across Kenya and that is the promise of devolution. Oh.